We as a team have been on a fascinating journey to set up a finance business organisation that will bring finance services to Unilever at competitive cost and quality and that is valued by the business. This is of interest for everyone because in the end everyone will work in a shared service environment. The partnership with IBM will be a key success factor for this project. Our experience so far has been that we've worked very well together, there's a good cultural fit between the people, we're both driving to achieve the milestones, and we have been successful so far in overcoming all the obstacles and the issues that we have come across. The IBM teams that I've been dealing with in both uh, Bangalore and in uh, Krakow have been really very positive. Both sets of the teams are really um, motivated, they try to get to the root cause of the problems and really um, trying to understand the way in which Unilever does its business. Well, all our people working for, uh, for Unilever uh, are either uh, university graduates or uh, the people just uh, finalizing their, uh, their, their studies. They also have quite strong European language skills. It's quite common that our staff would have, as well as English language knowledge, knowledge of at least one if not two additional European languages. Dobrze, wiesz co, ja postaram się sprawdzić to w strukturach i y, postaram się do ciebie jak najszybciej odzwonić. Podaj mi jeszcze numer telefonu do siebie. The team working for Unilever account are the people fully dedicated for Unilever. They are proud uh, that they could work for such a big client and uh, well-known organization uh, in Poland and uh, worldwide. Um, and all of them are very de dedicated to this account because uh, uh, this is for them a great opportunity in their, uh, within their career path. Well, actually, I've started like a month ago, and I'm issuing invoices, other sales invoices, issuing invoices for agents, uh, sales reps, and for sales of scrap. And actually, I also take care of shops for employees for Unilever. So I have lots of work at the month end, actually. Uh, no, before I work for a government company, here I find uh, something new, an international environment. Uh, new people from all over the world. For me it was a kind of uh, promotion and uh, of course uh, I, I can learn a lot because uh, Unilever is a very special company. I think that the working relationship between the Unilever staff and IBM staff has been very very good. Um, from our perspective we're very very happy with the dedication and professionalism of the Unilever staff working on this assignment and also we would hope that Unilever people would think the same about our people. Right now I have to contact people from Unilever quite often because they ask me to issue invoices so and I call them, they call me, I receive lots of mails from them. The, the, the people from Unilever, they, they were really uh, friendly and uh, when I wanted some, some help uh, that I, I didn't hear something uh, like that I don't have time, please call me back later. Every time when somebody calls they ask how, how are you, what's the weather like in Krakow, so this is, they're really being friendly and they're always willing to help. Good morning, everyone. This is Adam from Krakow. Is Prabhaka here? We have Warsaw on the line, and we also have uh, Prabhaka and Kishore in Bangalore. Sylvia, this is fixed, Sylvia. Thanks for that. It's working fine it now. It works fine. So after the X was very clean, it was okay. Uh, the kind of people uh, we recruit for the Unilever account, uh, people with a strong educational background, people with strong uh, accountancy skills and uh, obviously the relevant work experience in the process area, be it accounts payable, or fixed assets or general ledger. We have an elaborate uh, pre-process training. So this training would consist of first a general induction into uh, IBM first, 
and uh, then uh, with the help of Unilever people, we've, we've prepared a background material on what the company is all about, what are the brands, what is the size of the business, what are the various divisions within Unilever. Now I get to understand the many, the many importance of their products when it comes to differentiation in foods, home and personal care and uh, ice creams. It's a known brand in India and it's a, it's a, it's a huge one, it's a huge company. Um, I mean, I feel I'm, I'm with the right kind of a company, with the right kind of a customer and I really enjoy my work. The endeavor in this transition has been to, uh, you know, identify some key positions and fill them with uh, existing people, uh, existing IBM people from other accounts. If you look at the uh, service delivery manager, uh, Sanjibi, for example, uh, he's a person with a strong uh, IBM experience and he's going to lead the uh, overall operations team. When we went live uh, for uh, UK initially, the teams had the capability of processing something like 100 invoices in a day. In the following weeks, they were able to perform to the level of uh, 200, 250, and uh, the latest milestone that we had in uh, HPC payables, we crossed something 300 in a day. In a one year time, it would be very smooth because we are improving day by day. In a short time, I'll be moving to travel and expenses, and I'm going to be learning that also. So I still have a lot of things to learn here. I, 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 I know it's going to be a good future. Uh, the working relationship has been pretty good. I would say very good professional relationship, understanding their requirements and adhering to it. And in a day-to-day -day, uh, basis, uh, the ongoing support what we are getting is very good. I am in touch with in Unilever UK, HPC, and also in Poland and Portugal, a couple of people. Uh, the relationship has been pretty good and very useful learning experience for me as an individual and also in terms of an ongoing maintaining that relationship helps us to deliver better. We work uh, on the European time zone uh, which is typically uh, Indian time uh, starting from around 12, 12.30 to around uh, 10 p.m. So this, this basically you know, is to ensure that uh, we are online with our uh, clients uh, time zone so that uh, you know whatever information that we require from the client, uh, we can get during these hours. So our working hours are in tune with the client. We have good regular contacts with the Unilever team uh, sitting in Warsaw, and um, through emails, sometimes through phone calls too, if it's really urgent or a discussion that requires. We do have conference calls when we have to include uh, more than two, three people for discussing a certain issue or a certain case. It's like it's part of Unilever. We are working from a different location. Uh, there is no difference that uh, we are from IBM. We feel we are part of Unilever and we're enjoying each and every moment we are working for. Driving the harmonization of processes is key to the success of this project. That's why the ownership will be with the Unilever Finance Businesses Organization. One of the key challenges also has been to execute go live, uh, going live with two countries you know, within three months of signing the contract. I think it's an example of how two very large organizations can come together and solve some fairly challenging issues uh, over quite, quite a short space of time. We encountered um, a few problems, particularly in aligning our IT resources uh, in both organizations uh, in order to implement our transformation plans. But thanks to our strong governance uh, and the teamwork and team spirit we developed, we've been able to address those very early on and, and, and work and adjust accordingly. Today we are managing uh, these problems better and better. Eh? We are learning from our mistakes and we are uh, able now to allocate resources in IT uh, where we need them uh, much better than we had in the beginning. In everything we do in the different countries, we keep on staying aligned as much as possible so that we can, uh, can get towards one set of finance processes across Europe. I'm really pleased that we've hit all the milestones so far which is a critical thing to do in a big project. I'm equally proud of my team, which has made this all happen. And now the great enthusiasm that we've seen in Poland and the UK, which ensured that we made the go-lives on the pre-agreed dates. 
Now the project is really gaining speed and we will need everybody to get on board on this journey to make it happen. Thank you.